I think that my films, putting as much stress as they do upon the constant metamorphosis, one image is always becoming another. That is, it is what is happening that is important in my films, not what is at any moment. This is a woman's time sense, and I think it happens more in my films than in almost anyone else's. In this video, we discuss the work of Maya Deren and her influence on the feminist avant-garde film movement. Deren was an influential director, filmmaker, and performer, dubbed the mother of American avant-garde filmmaking. Pioneering experimental film as an art form in America, Deren's work tended to focus on identity and personal experience. Deren's films began to emerge in the 1940s, and a new term had to be created to describe them, choreo cinema. Carolee Schneeman was a visual experimental artist associated with the feminist avant-garde movement. In Derren, Schneeman found a kindred spirit. In a female artist working in a pre-feminist world, interested in the body and nature, Derren's influence can be seen in Schneeman's first film, Fuses, in the form of malleable, responsive camera movements. Schneeman also appears in the film herself, much the same as Derren did in her own creations. Fuses explores sexuality as a series of uninterrupted acts in a home, with the seasons visibly changing through the bedroom window. When watching this, I was reminded of the party scene from Ritual in Transfigured Time. The scenes are edited together to create a trance-like musical flow that focuses on the singular aspect of domestic life. I believe her aim when creating this piece was to portray heterosexual erotic pleasure from a woman's point of view, something unrepresented in the contemporary art and film of the time. This in itself bears resemblance to Darren's work, which often had sexual undertones throughout. An example of this could be the almost erotic chess game played between two women near the end of At Land. Independent feminist avant-garde filmmaker Barbara Hammer was heavily inspired by Darren's work after seeing Meshes of the Afternoon in a film history class. There had been no female directors throughout her lessons, and after being exposed to Darren, Hammer realised that there was a place for her and other women in cinema. My Darren developed a concept called vertical filmmaking. Vertical filmmaking for Maya meant that many emotions would be called forth from the viewer from a particular image or juxtaposition of images. And I think I do that through layering. Um, many impositions of images come together along with sound. An example of this can be seen in her film, A Horse is Not a Metaphor. The use of repeated motifs embedded with symbolism and the exploration of the unconscious within her films are tropes heavily associated with the surrealist movement. However, this is something she disputed. She did not care for the unrational unconsciousness of Freud she preferred Carl Jung's experimentation of subconscious archetypal symbolism and Joseph Campbell's studies of primordial myth-making. This could explain the repeated motifs which provide symbolism, such as the flower and knife in Meshes of the Afternoon, and why Darren's work is mistakenly categorised as surrealist. After all my research into Darren, I decided to create my own piece of experimental cinema using Darren's style. 